Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebbet, 2000s. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. And there we have it. That looks to be the start of Undertale. Um, this was a recommendation. We're going to try it out. It looks like a girl went up to the mountain and fell in a hole. Fell in. And now she is down in, I guess, with the monsters. We're going to begin game. Name the fallen human. Oh, we're going to name this one Charlotte because it's a girl. How about just Char? There we go. I believe it's a girl. If it's not... Sorry. Yeah, it looks like a girl. Okay, and here we go. This is um quite a look. Kind of earthboundy. Okay, we're awake. Hello, what's this? Howdy! I'm Flowey! Flowey the flower. Oh. Flowey? Flowey the flower? I don't know. Hmm. You are new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! Alright. See that heart? That's your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. Um, levels? What's LV stand for? Why love! Of course, it's love. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around to get as many as you can. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die! Oh, what kind of a game is this? What the? What a terrible creature. Torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You're the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. What's this, though? The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Save. Okay, oh, save points, got it. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Alright, those four. Got it. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay. Only the fearless may proceed, brave ones. Foolish ones. Both walk not the middle of the road. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. To make progress here, you'll need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Stay on the path, okay? Press Z to read signs, or B if you're using your controller. 
the first switch is over on the wall. It is. What does that say? Please press this switch, Toriel. Okay. Splendid! I am proud of you, little button. Let us move to the next room. See how it said stay on the path? Okay, so the switch is on the path. Got it. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. You encounter the dummy! What is an act? Check it. Dummy, attack zero, defense zero, a cotton heart, and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Dummy stands around absentmindedly. Hello, you talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! Okay, no XP, no gold. Very good. You are very good. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Okay, we got some stuff there. <gasps> Frog it attacks you! Check! Frog it! Attack forward, defense fight. Life is difficult for this enemy. Oh, I won it! You won! You don't have to fight anybody. The western room is the eastern's room blueprint. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, so we go... One, two... And then we can go up. One, two... Then down. Okay. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. We have to go up. Yep. I mean, I, I got it. I, I was going to do that. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. <laughs> You've done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. And I run faster. This is the speed. This is the vehicle's top speed. Just stay on the path. Um, one. Oh, yeah. One, two. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good. All right? Um, okay, that's cell. Say hello. Dialing. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello. Hope that suffices. Uh, we're not going to really stay here, are we? Ring. Hello. This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right. Click. Hello. Ribbit. Ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Okay. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. It's fully restored. Okay. What's in here? Book. It says, take one. Take a piece of candy? Yes. You took a piece of candy. Press C to open the menu. Uh, item, monster candy. You ate the monster candy. Your HP was maxed out. Oh, cool. Let's take another one. Take one. 
You took more candy. How disgusting. <laughs> There's a fight! Wimsome approached meekly. Well, let's check. Wimsome, attack five defense zero. This monster is too sensitive to fight. Aww. Okay, we dodge. Act. Console. Halfway through your first word, Wimsome bursts into tears and runs away. You won! Wah! Okay. How very Link like. Oh, I see. Froggit hopped close. Froggit, attack four defense. Life is difficult for this enemy. Croak, croak. Whoa. Easy. 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 Let's compliment him. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Blushes deeply, ribbit. Froggit seems reluctant. Compliment him again. Blushes deeply, Ribbit. Froggit. Froggit seems reluctant to fight you. Spare him. Hey, we got some money for that. How about here? What about on this side? There we go. <laughs> I win. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. Ring. This is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right. Right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Oh. Froggit hop close. You know what? Let's, uh. Oh, big hit there. Let's get another hit on him. We don't want to kill him all the way. That's yet. Meow. Yeah, okay. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay. Froggit is trying to run away. Mercy. You won! One gold. Alright. Maybe he'll leave me alone forever now. Okay, so it's this room again. I have to fall down here, right? Oh. Oh, okay. So... I see. I understand. Mold small block the way. Stereotypical, curvaceously attractive, but no brains. Slime sounds. Oh. Oh. Mercy. Hey Sexy wiggle. Aha. Burble, burble. Oh. Hey, at least they're not exploding. You won! You don't have to fight anybody. All right, so we do this, right? What? Frog it! Hop, hop. Oh no! That's all right. I did it. You know what? We're just gonna beat them all. Ow! That was a a bad decision by me. Listen, you had your chance. 
Let's see if we figure out which ones. Hey, no, not yet. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around, hmm? So you're asking me to move over. Okay, just just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm. And that was the wrong direction? Oh, okay. I think I got it. Hey, thanks. Was that helpful? It sure was. Whoa! Hmm? You want me to just stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Thank you. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Safe. Okay. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Hello, mouse. Push the button. He's stuck there. Um, that looks scary. I have to walk across that, huh? <laughs> Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying zzz out loud repeatedly, pretending to be asleep. Move it with force? No. Alright. Are they gone yet? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Here comes Napstabluke. I'm fine, thanks. Oh, he's crying. Naps will attack 10 defense, and this monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Let's cheer it up. You gave Naps a patient smile. Eh. Oh my gosh. He looks just a little bit better. Okay. I'm fine. Thanks. Let's get him. Mm, he's not happy with that. Okay. That's... Uh, mistakes have been made. Let's cheer him up. You told Naps to a little joke. Eh. He left a little. Ow. Damn, we're gonna need some monster candy. Cheering seems to have brewed his, his mood again. Man, I don't... This one's hard. Natural Luke wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Bluke. Do you like it? Yes. Cheer it. Oh, jeez. I usually come to the rooms because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Neat. If I go back here and save, do I have to do that again? Okay. Full health. Uh, what's in here? What's in here? Spider bake sale. All pro proceeds go to real spiders. 7G? Leave 7G in the web? Yes. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Awesome. You didn't have enough gold. Ribbit, ribbit. Hi, my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Oh, not you too. I didn't. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. What does F4 stand for? Four frogs? Okay. Skip. Uh, rivet, rivet. I've heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very. It's very helpful. Very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Ring. Hello. I just realized it has been a while since I've cleaned up. 
I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around about here and there. You can pick them up. Do not care more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You want to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. There's just one switch. Um. Oh, I missed it. Oh, wait. There's another ghost down there. What? Luke drew near. What are you? Check. Don't pick on him. Family name, Eyewalker. Please don't pick on me. Okay. Ow. Nah, that was bad. Smells like eye drops. Don't pick on. Finally, someone. Woo. Luke's just gazing at you. Don't pick on him. Finally, someone gets me. Can I spare him? Luke gnashes his teeth. Spider don't. You ate the spider donut. Oh. I pushed the wrong... Can I mercy him? Spare. You won! Five gold. I fell down a hole now. I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait. Ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Oh. That's the switch. I mean, we'll hit the switch anyways. We're here, right? Okay. Let's pick up the items. Oh, it's a fight. Vegetoid came out of the earth. No, no, no. I don't want to fight. Contains vitamin A. That's delicious. Ooh. Let's check. Vegetoid attacks six serving size one monster not monitored by the USDA. Part of a complete breakfast. For veg vegetables? No. Vegetoid cackles softly. Check. Talk. Dinner. You pat, you pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Oh, that was health. Vegetoid cackles softly. Talk. Uh, plants can't talk, dummy. This is this is true. He speaks true. Vegetoid cackles softly. Devour. You took a bite out of Vegetoid. You recovered 5 HP. You won! What's in this one? You found a faded ribbon. Okay. Can I wear it? Info. Faded ribbon. Armor D. You, if you are cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. So do I, I use it? You equip the ribbon. Fresh. Nope. Hmm. Devour. You tried to eat vegetable, but it wasn't weakened enough. Oh, okay. Ooh. Fresh morning taste. You pat your stomach. Eat your greens. Nice of him. Oh, I missed. He's yellow. Can I, uh, no. Spare. You won! What was down here? I didn't go in here. Another Vegetoid. gold, though. It's a switch. Press it? No. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. It 
if you can read this, press the blue switch. Finally, someone that gets me. Give me that gold. I pressed the blue switch on this side. Oh, I see. It's like behind here, isn't it? There we go. Vegetoid came out of the earth. No, that was wrong. Heed the swarm! Oh my goodness. Eat your greens! What? what? Are you dancing? That's a good dance. Looks great. Mix us up. Attack seven, defense. It seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. Nothing like. It looks good. You won. Six gold. You can read this. Press the red switch. Finally, someone gets it. Quit staring at me! Ah, uh, pushed the wrong button. I could have spared him. That would have been the end of it. Give me that money. Awesome. If you can read this, press the green switch. Uh, green was where? Listen. We get you, my dude. We get you. You won. Five gold. Green switch is Got it. Oh, lots of monsters here. You're doing really good down there. You look good. Not a lot of gold, though. Looks a little strange. Oh, dear. That took longer than I thought it would. Hey, for real? <laughs> How did you get here, my chap? Are you hurt? There, there, there. I, uh, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Um, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Uh, come, small one. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Ooh, I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Thank you. <laughs> here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I, I hope you like it. Aw. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. I went to sleep. Ah! Some pie! You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. 
an empty photo frame, it's really dusty, a box of kid shoes in disparity of sizes, and the light on. That's their room. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Books. An encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha. A group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known commonly as water sausages. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> uh, room under renovations. Okay. Let's go this way. Let's see if we can find Toriel. Ah. Hello. Up already? I see. Mm. I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps this isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, uh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, when can I go home? What? Th this, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. It's a lot of me in this game. How about it? How to exit the ruins. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Actually, I would like that. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. How to exit the ruins. I, I have to do something. Stay here. What's back here? Kitchen? There is some white fur stuck in the drain. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stovetop is very clean. Oreo must use fire magic instead. Oh, Terriel's going to be upset. Not in there. There, in my room, or did maybe Doriel go downstairs? No. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now, be a good child and go upstairs. No, we don't need to do that. You don't need to do this at all. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, as gore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. No. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. No. No. I understand your intentions are good. You want to leave so badly? You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh, we're fighting? Talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh boy. Knows best for you. Woo. Ow, okay. Toriel is acting aloof. You tried to think of something to say again, but... Okay, this is gonna happen a lot. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Ow. Toriel takes a deep bath breath. I'm gonna keep talking to you, Toriel.
Whoa. 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 Dora has a lot of HPs. Toria looks through you. Cheese for this. Ah! Stop it! One. Wait. Fifty-eight. Oh, they're giving me this or what? stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Asgore, do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you? Wait, what? My child. Did I? No. What? No! That, um, well, moving on. All right, moving on. Let's go. Let's uh, keep walking. Let's just keep walking. Don't let Asgore take our soul and whatnot. Uh, we won't, uh, we won't let him. Hey, I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans, but when it came down to it, she couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. I don't, uh... Don't appreciate that at all, Flowey. Flowey. Undertale. By Toby Fox. Is that the game? Did I win? Nope. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Oh. Stick. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Need to get stronger. What? Wait, it's in small pieces now. It's been smashed like it was nothing. Uh, 
I saw that. Um, run. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Run. What? The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. What? It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? Well, I know this is Sans because I have that voice on the voice mod. And that's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, uh, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what? Sup, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. And maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Oh my goodness. Sans, come on. You're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Uh, uh, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Uh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Alright, that was exhausting. Nice back. Hey! Okay, you can come out now. Uh, you ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What is this? It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station, but there's bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. It's the same thing. Okay. Can I take this lamp? Just a conveniently shaped lamp. What about these boulders? Nothing. Actually, hey, I uh, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I'm just thinking, my brother's been kind of a clown uh, cl down lately. He's never seen him before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. All right, well, we're going to save it here uh, after the brutal murder of Toriel uh, by uh, someone else. Definitely not us. Someone else. Anyways. Uh, that'll be part one of uh, Undertale. Anyways, bye.